If you're looking for a tool that will help you automate your scheduling and make your project management a breeze, you are in the right place. By the end of this video, you will know exactly what automatic scheduling modes in Big Picture do and how to use them to save time and speed up your planning and replanning processes. So let's get started. Welcome back to our channel and if you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you won't miss on any of our latest content. Today I have some great news as Big Picture has just released its latest version and it's looking good. Among other things, one of the new features is the brand new auto scheduling mode and that is why today we'll have a closer look at auto scheduling modes and how this new mode bridges the gap between auto and manual. Yes, finally. Big Picture offers several scheduling modes to help you manage your projects efficiently. And we won't be diving deep into all the modes and especially the configuration. The scheduling modes determine how the tasks interact between each other. And what are the three available auto scheduling modes? These are the auto top down, auto bottom up, and auto basic. So let's have a closer look at each one of them. Starting with auto top down, let's change to a simple scenario when all the children are also using this mode. So here the dates of the child tasks are automatically adjusted based on the parent. So they cannot start earlier than the start date of the parent and accordingly they cannot end later than that date. Other than that, you can move the drag and drop the whole branch here. You can change the start and end dates of the parent and that's about it. So use this mode when you have a fixed timeline for your milestone stages or for the whole project and need your subtasks or tasks to align accordingly. Mode number two, auto bottom up. Let's again change to auto bottom up. And this time, again, I can move the whole branch. I can readjust the children, but the children actually determine the duration, the start and end date and the duration of the parent task. So as you can see, if I hover over the start date of the parent task, I will not be able to change it. So this is great for projects when the timeline of the project or higher level task depends on the lower level items. But there is one mode that is brand new and it actually resolves some of the challenges that big picture users were facing prior to the release of the new feature. Let's switch to auto basic. The main difference here is that you can now move the children. There will be still automations related to the dependencies. I actually see a uh, a warning, so I have my warnings enabled and I really like this feature because it kind of tells me that aha, uh -huh, pay attention here because you did something wrong. So let me just fix it real quick. But as you can see, I can also move the parent independently of the children. I will still see the warning, that's great, but I have my freedom and I can do whatever I want with the parent and with the children auto basic it's something between automated it's i mean it's still fully automated but the rescheduling of the parent or restriction from the top-down planning are now disabled now you can switch to other modes combine them but again that will be a lot of different use cases so if you want to learn about other modes and when to use them to keep your data safe from unintended rescheduling and believe me we've seen it too many times reach out to us and we will help you create a flawless environment that you and your team will be proud of i wanted to add one more thing because if you're just starting your adventure with big picture there is one thing that you can do to avoid potential problems and that would be to use scenario modes actually we do have a great video about what if scenarios so i'm sure it will be worth your while to check out this video and trust me this feature will blow you away 